What to do, y'all? Today I'm gonna be making myself a bean and cheese burrito. I got me a can of beans and a bag of cheese. Keeping it real simple, keeping it real foolproof with it. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be real nice. I'll probably use more than I should for one burrito. Both of these things are actually pretty rare air over here. So I'm gonna try to make this pretty epic. I also got me a pretty large tortilla. Maybe not the biggest you can find, but that's still a good size. And um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna be cooking this in the oven just because we don't really have dishwashers over here like that. And I'm not trying to dirty up pans and pots because I'm not really trying to do the dishes like that. You know what I'm saying? Here we got the green chilies, the refried beans going in, going all. So I've never cooked a burrito in the oven. I might need two tortillas, man. One full can. Let me get another tortilla real quick. They're pretty warm here. I popped them in the oven just for a hot second. How should I do this? We'll go on like that. This is gonna be real crazy, y'all. I, I hope this turns out, but yeah, like I'm saying, I've never cooked a uh, a bean and cheese burrito either usually well i like to throw in a lot of stuff into it but yeah all right i know what y'all are thinking damn that looks good that's what i'm thinking for the cheese man you know what should i just yeah all right the whole bag's going in this could be a epic fail i'm kind of expecting it will be to be honest with you but, you know, we're just having fun with it. So now, so I'm gonna attempt to wrap this up. Let's see what I can do with this. Damn, y'all, that might be too much. Hold on. Yo, that's kind of a burrito, man. I don't know what this is. This is some kind of hybrid. Is that gonna work, man? I might need one more tortilla, y'all. Fuck. It's getting stupid already. That's how I do it, man. This is absurd. Hopefully I can get a roll on this one. This is looking weird, but we have full coverage on it. Uh, you know, it's not the best looking burrito I've ever seen, but by golly, I sure hope it'll eat, man. Hope Maybe not. Damn, I think I forgot my mic when I was rolling that third tortilla onto it, but yeah, here's what we're working with, man. It's large in charge, it's looking pretty stupid, but hopefully it'll eat. I'm about to pop this in the oven, it's preheating at like 3 fifth. And I'll probably leave it in there for like 20 minutes or so, and hopefully it gets warm all the way through and the cheese gets melted. I don't know. I'm flying by the seat of my pants, but let's go find out. Set and forget it, let raw. Are we back? Still intact. Uh, it's got a little bit of Kia shine. You can maybe hear that. So I had to turn it down, and uh, it's probably been in there for damn near 30 minutes. So if this ain't cooked all the way through, well, it's already cooked, but if it's not warm all the way through, I'll be disappointed. But I'm just gonna call it anyway because I don't want to wait any longer. I'm very hungry. I got some chalu, and uh, I don't know if I should cut this in half or just go for a bite. I'm probably gonna have to cut it in half because I'm just so curious to see what that cross section looks like. I feel like we're gonna still see those shreds of cheese and not get the cheese pulled that I'm looking for, but it is what it is, I guess, at the end of the day. Yeah. Damn. Here's what we're working with. Honestly, I had much higher expectations, but it'll still eat, I hope. Like, the cheese is melted enough and the beans look like they're, they're warm all the way through. So, this should still be eaten. Yeah. Good helping with Cholula. We need a little third element there. 
of flavor and going in. Ah. Mm. Okay. I gotta say though, temperature wise, perfect. Delicious. This is mighty fine. You got, it, well, oh man, like, man, this is, uh, this is crazy. So this doesn't have the visuals, but it has a taste. Uh, perfect, I mean like, perfect combination of flavors. It's real simple. Back in the day, I probably would have hated on a bean and cheese burrito. I'd be like, why don't you throw in some like, some meat or some rice? But these days, I gotta be honest with you. Like I was saying, refried beans are non-existent here. And just eating some good, like even average refried beans here, Old El Paso, it just, and with the craft, again, I'm using like basic, basic ingredients, but for me, they're like luxury. It's a luxury, for sure. Yeah, okay. Mm. The uh, tortilla is somewhere in between, it's got different dimensions on the tortilla. So it's not completely soft, it's not completely, you know, crispy. It has some softer parts, it has some crispier parts. Mmm. Hot. This thing will really be eaten, man. I don't know how my stomach's gonna feel tomorrow. If y'all really know me, you know that I love just simple combinations, minimal ingredients. Well, this would definitely be amazing with some rice, maybe some guac, maybe some meat, anything else you might put in a burrito. It's, it's almost like the simpler it is, the more impressive it is when it's so good, you know what I mean? The fewer ingredients you use, the more, and, and it still works really well, then you're like, damn, I didn't know that could really work that well. This Cholula is so, so nice too. I'll tell you what though, the more I eat this, the more I'm really liking the overlap of tortillas because you do get that crispiness and the soft stuff. Uh, the crispiness really does work because in the inside, it is mostly soft. You're not getting a lot of, of a bite in there. And uh, yeah. To me, this is so good. So for sure, I was not expecting to eat this whole thing. But I could almost eat another.
That's how much I'm liking this right here. I know with the videos, it's mostly, well, pretty much all about the visual. You can make something that looks real nice and it could be bogus, but this right here looks bogus. It tastes real nice, man. And there's the evidence. <clears throat> yeah, I am not extremely happy about how that turned out, but still pretty happy. But yeah, that's about it though. I'm about to go edit this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go Bulls.